How y'all boys been, man? I see y'all boys in a minute. Nah, for real, bro. I miss y'all. So, yeah, I done set the camera up. See, so y'all know it's real. Bro, why is it that glare going across the camera like that? I had to move the camera. It was like a glare going across the camera. It's really still there. This is an iPhone 13. Where's the quality? I'm gonna be reading my followers' confessions. I told y'all to confess on my Instagram. I'm gonna do some of these confessions that I got a while ago. Yeah, but before I do that, I'm gonna do a like, comment, subscribe. I don't think I put no intro on here. Y'all know me. I'm not going to. The literal first one is uh, I got choked and manhandled. I don't know what you what context you mean. Like, did you get assaulted? Like, were you attacked? You can't just put that. They didn't even put I got. They just put choked and manhandled. What do you mean? Like, is this, was it a crime? Are you, was that happening right now? Wait, or was this happening in present time? And that's why you put that because you couldn't type too much. So you just had to put the main gist. Was this your cry for help? Oh, damn. Now I'm looking at it like that. Oh, man. If so, if this is a cry for help, you know what I'm saying? Hell, they got to do with me. Don't tell me. Call 911. But you know, gang, this is a suggestion. I'm not victim blaming, you know what I'm saying? You are the victim in the situation. You didn't do nothing wrong to deserve this. You know what I'm saying? But... Why not call 911? I appreciate you wanting to keep me in the loop. My heart beats for you, but if you're good right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't know that you never put nothing else, so I don't know how that went for you. But next time, if you got your phone, call the first responders. This person said, I used to hide my brother's asthma pump when he made me mad. That's attempted murder. From my understanding, you're supposed to keep that on your person at all times. Did he ever like have an asthma attack and you was just like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He'll never guess where it is. What? Gang, he's dying. <laughs> those things are deadly. And those asthma attacks are deadly, gang. You can't play like that. That's a felony. This person said, I touched myself. Oh, I'm not going to finish reading that. <laughs> that was my first time reading it. You could tell. Because I didn't know it said that. Oh, I honestly didn't know. I didn't know, you two. I didn't know she said that. Well, I'm not going to finish reading it. I'm going to go on to the next one. This person said, I'm pregnant and I don't know how to tell my mother. Well, this was about two months ago, so I assume she probably knows now. Dang, that must really be a sticky situation. Like, damn, she gonna beat my ass. Man, that's crazy. That's a movie shit. If nothing else gives you motivation, let that give you motivation. Well, nah. Gang, I don't know. I've never remotely been in this situation in my life. If that was me, I'm gonna tell you what I would do if that was me. Now, if that was me, I don't know. I guess you just gotta cry until you start showing, gang. Be a hundred with you. I'm not a good person to come to for advice. Or you could be happy about it. Are you happy about it, gang? That's the question. Well, the question is, are you gonna keep it or not? Well, gang, I don't think you got a choice no more. Well, it depends on what state you're in. You gotta take that trip, take that trip. Like, if you gotta walk, gang, that's what you gotta do. This person said, do you wanna be a male because I thought you was one? Gang, remember, my heart beats for you. My heart is beating right now for you. But, gang, this is not a confession. This is your confession? This is the secret that you've been holding your whole life? It's not! That's not what I asked! Damn it! <laughs> Gang, read the title! It's not what I asked, but to ask, answer your burning question... No, I don't. Actually, I actually don't, though. There's no urge there. Yeah, I'm not having an urge. I just wake up and do me, gang, and this is what me looks like. So, shit, that's what it is. The person said I'm addicted to Zans and opioids. Uh, man. Oh, we just getting straight into it. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, darn. Now everybody would tell you to quit. You know what I'm saying? Like the normal person would tell you to quit. But I'm not a normal person. I'm not going to just tell you what everybody want me to tell you, gang. You said you were addicted to Zans and opioids. It it's probably is better for your health for you to get off them. Could overdose and, and it'd be like fentanyl and them like, you can get a, a, a bad pill. But like with addiction, bro, I ain't going to lie. It's nothing I can tell you to make you quit. Only the person who is addicted can decide when they quit. You could be begging somebody to quit drugs for years and years and years. They not going to quit till they want to quit. You can't quit until you want to quit, gang. Till you decide you want better with your health. Like, one day you just going to wake up and you're going to be fed up. Hopefully you get off of that. I ain't going to tell you what everybody want me to tell you, like. Because ain't nothing I tell you going to make you quit. That's all up to you, gang. I keep running out of storage mid-video. All right, we back. This person said I put a knife to my family member throat she woke up and i ran it was the middle of the night i ain't gonna lie whoever that was 
They know you did that. In the back of their head, like even years later, however long ago that was, they still like looking at you like I know that I know that nigga put a knife to my throat in the middle of the night one night. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's a weirdo. Gotta watch his ass. This person said I secretly don't like my best friend. As crazy as that sounds, it's a lot of people out here like that. Why would you wanna surround yourself with somebody that you don't like? If you really didn't like her, I don't understand how you be in her face all the time. You can't hide that you don't like somebody. At least me. You know how it be people that you just don't like. Never met them before or nothing, but you just don't like them. And when people like that come around, I can't hide that I don't like you. Like, you're going to be able to tell, like, dude, you got a problem with me or something? Cause like, yeah, I don't like you, bro. I don't know why. You might not realize that you're doing it, but she probably know you don't like her. Like, people don't realize that when you don't like somebody, like, you got secret animosity. You can't hide that shit, bro. You can tell when somebody really don't like you. Like, it's only a couple situations where I'd be like, damn, like, I didn't even know that nigga was a snake. But that's with males. Males can hide that they don't like somebody so well. It's the craziest thing ever. Really being another nigga face all day and not like the nigga or want the nigga spot or something like. But like with women, I promise you, you can you not hiding it as well as you think. Like somebody said, I fucked my best friend in a public bathroom on Valentine's Day while he had a girlfriend in a public bathroom. Why in a public bathroom? Like out of every grocery store that I done been in, Kroger, Publix, and Walmart, Publix got the nastiest bathroom. A public bathroom is kind of nuts. Like, I would have died with that information. I wouldn't have told nobody. I'm in awe. Because this happens way more than you think. Public bathroom is like the hot spot for some people. Like, you're not turned off by the smell of shit. It's not like killing the vibe, the shit in the toilet right next to y'all. That's not like, eh. This person said, I think cheese is nasty. I'm right there with you, gang. Cheese is nasty by itself. I can eat it on other stuff, but I can't just eat cheese by itself. If you sit there and just bust down cheese by itself, that's nasty, bro. That's disgusting. Especially if you sit there and get them little balls of cheese and just bust that shit down by itself. You suck. Come on, bro. That's nasty. That's not a snack. That's cheese. Cheese is a cooking material. You know what I'm saying? That's like eating flour by itself. Flour don't taste good by itself, but it tastes good when you put it in stuff. You're not supposed to just bust down flour by itself. You're not just supposed to eat cheese by itself, bruh. It's like eating a raw ingredient. I mean, you can. You're not going to die if you eat it, but you're not supposed to, gang. Somebody said, I meant to say, I've been wanting to see your girly look flat iron the free farms. You know what? For you, since y'all, since my heart beats for y'all, I would insert a picture, but I honestly don't have one. Like, I'm not even capping. I don't have one. I honestly don't have no pictures. Like, I really held it down. I'm really true to this game. I'm not new to this. You know what? It's this one picture, me in a dress. It's so for eighth grade, my nigga, so for eighth grade graduation, but all the girls had to wear a dress. Y'all don't understand. Like, that was such a sad day. The only pictures I got from my eighth grade graduation, I'm wearing a dress. And this was not any dress, bro. This was like the ugliest dress. It was a gray dress. It had like a, a black, had a long ass skirt. Oh my God. You could tell something was off. They had like a little aisle you had to walk on. When you, when you look back and see me come up the aisle, you can tell something is not right. You know what I'm saying? What are you? <laughs> oh, that was so rude to me, man. I'm sorry. You know I look. Oh, y'all know I'm gonna keep it real. Like I was looking lost. I can't even remember how I had my hair. But I had it flat. I don't know, but gang, I don't even want to talk about it. But that's a traumatic experience. The only other time I wore a dress was like in third grade, and for some reason I really thought I was gonna kill it. I remember that day. That that day was the day I decided I was never gonna wear a dress again. No, 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 no. I wore a skirt one day in fifth grade. I used to randomly get these ideas like, yeah, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to kill it. That was the last time ever. Like, I told myself, you got you to gotta stop playing. <laughs> I played too much, like, to the point where in fifth grade, I literally wore a skirt to school. It's nothing crazy. Like, I'm a girl, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy to wear a skirt. But for me, that was crazy. Niggas knew that was crazy because you only ever see me in shorts and pants. Like, one day I just walked up in there with a skirt. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. Like, them niggas laugh like, fuck. I don't think it was like, what do you have on? I'm like, yeah. Y'all you know, know how y'all put on something and it's hard at the house, but as soon as you step out, it's like, bro, what do I got on? And you already at the house. You already at school, so you stuck with it on. That was one of them days, man. That was a crazy day. Anyway, I wore one in third grade. I think we had to wear one for something I was finna do. I remember I just ain't like walking around with it on. Your legs just exposed. Like, I fell. It's like, damn, like the damn skirt almost just fucking flew upwards like this. Like, fuck. Basically, the point of that was to tell y'all, I don't have no girly pictures. Like, anytime I did have on a skirt, it's it's no evidence. <laughs> like, except for that one time when I was trying to graduate eighth grade. Like, it was either wear the dress or don't graduate, literally. Like, they was so serious about it. So, like, I just had to take my L. I ain't putting that in this video. But I am going to do a video reacting to, like, my old pictures and videos. I might put it in that one. Y'all got to stay tuned. I might put it in that one because I don't really care because I don't have to go and find it to put it in this video. And I don't, 
I don't have that in my phone because I don't keep that negativity around me. A lot of these confessions I can't really read because y'all is old then. Yeah, that was some of y'all confessions. I ain't gonna lie, I probably read like 30%. Like, I cannot read the rest because y'all was wild. Hey, y'all know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. We on the road to 10K. If you follow me, if you subscribe to me on YouTube and you watch my videos, my heart beats for you. So, and yeah, I'm gonna see y'all boys in the next one.